I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is that there are loads of different ways for you to make money with your comics online. The bad news is that they almost all require an audience. So I'm going to share my experiences over the last 12 months in how I've been able to make some money as a comic book artist. I'm going to be talking about why I chose a particular platform and how much money I made from that platform over the last 12 months. I've been doing art videos for a little over a year now and at the time of recording I have 255 subscribers. That means I'm quite far away from monetizing the channel but that doesn't mean that money making opportunities are not there. In each of my videos there are affiliate links for Amazon for some art products that I personally use. Things like pencils that I use or books that I recommend you reading. So if people use those links to buy those products then Amazon will give me a little bit of money as commission. And over the last 12 months I have made zero dollars. So moving on. <laughs> the next platform I've been using is Patreon. For those who don't know, Patreon is a platform for creators to receive support from their fans or admirers. In exchange for money, creators will tend to give certain benefits. For me, I have three different tiers and they offer things like early access, uh, suggestions for this channel and exclusive live streams. The reason that I like Patreon is because it's a platform that changes over time. For creators that I've supported, it's been really cool to see their Patreon page change over time as they grow. And over the last 12 months, I've made $263.93, which is pretty sweet. Although that's because my parents are my only patrons, which is really sad. <laughs> I'm such a loser. Oh, thanks, Mum and Dad. <laughs> okay, so that brings the total to $263.93. Next, I went to my first Comic Con last year and I spent about $110 for the table for two days, which was a really good deal. And I made $144 back. I also spent about $30 on petrol and food and drink and stuff. So that means my profit was $4. So that's a total of $267.93. Now we're really cooking. The next platform I've used is Etsy. At the time of recording, I have 12 listings, two of which are my comics. Etsy is good because it's a massive marketplace and really, really popular. The downside is that you can kind of get lost in the shuffle and comics aren't as popular as other things on Etsy. Although I know some illustrators base their entire business on Etsy, so it's not impossible. But for me, over the last 12 months, I have made negative $7.20. That's because each listing incurs a fee of 20 cents per listing every four months and I've made precisely zero sales and so I've lost money. <laughs> Which brings the total to $260.73. Next it's Webtoon and Tapas. I'm lumping both of these together because they essentially offer the same thing. If you get a certain number of subscribers and monthly views then you get a share of the ad revenue. For Tapas you need 100 subscribers on a series to earn the revenue and I have 34 for my Delure comic and one for Life is Comics. So no money there. But for Webtoons, I need a thousand subscribers and 40,000 monthly views. And Delore has 11 subscribers and zero monthly views. But for Life is Comics, I have nine subscribers and three monthly views. So no money there either. Which brings our total to $260.73. Okay, so this isn't going particularly well so far. But what about the website? Obviously I'm saving the best till last, right? We know how YouTube works. I'm luring you in for that sweet, sweet watch time. Yeah, I'm making no money from that either. In order to make money from things like Google Ads, you need to average about 1500 views per month to begin seeing any sort of money. For the year of 2022, my site got 340 views, which means no money. In fact, I'm losing money because the hosting fees, including the domain name is $201.64 on a two year cycle. So that brings the grand total of how much I made from my stuff in the year of our law 2022 to $59.09. And if we discount the support from my parents, then that number drops to negative $204.94. So yeah. You know those videos done by creators where they break down how much money they've made over a certain period of time, basically like what I've just done? I really love those videos because it makes it feel like it's an attainable dream for everyone else. This is the anti version of those videos. In all honesty, the reason I've made this video is partly because I want to be transparent and partly because I want to bring some balance to the force. Those types of videos almost always just focus on the success of creators and I want to show the other side of that. But also it's a bit of a reality check. This has been a year that I've actively tried to make money and outside of parental help, I failed quite significantly. 
And I'd wager that a lot of people watching who are just starting out are in a similar position. Survival bias makes it seem like it's a little bit easier than perhaps it is sometimes. It's one of the main reasons why you should try and do something that you actually love to do. I'd be making comics and videos, I'd have a patron, a website, and to a lesser extent an Etsy, whether I was making money or not. I mean, that should be obvious by now since I've made no money. Maybe one day. So other than laughing at me, I hope this helps you feel a little less alone. Sometimes if all you see is success online, then it can make your perceived failures feel worse than they actually are. Most people go through the stage of making no money or even losing money on their creative ventures. I may be quite cynical in most things, I mean I'm British, but I'm truly optimistic that I'll be able to turn this around at some point in the future. Regardless of what happens, I'll still be creating and I hope you do too. I hope setbacks don't stop you and I hope you're not too down about how slow your progress is as an artist, whether that's improving your skills or making money, or both. So don't compare yourself to the success stories, compare yourself to yourself, or compare yourself to me if that helps. I doubt you're doing much worse than me financially. So onwards and upwards, we can do this. Thanks for watching and as always, have fun drawing. <laughs> what a stupid video. <laughs>